Um, exploring the hypothesis that um, colon cancer risk is determined by what you eat and the effect of what you eat on the microbiota, uh, which in turn maintains the health of the colon and therefore potentially reduces colon cancer risk. Um, we perform studies uh, in the USA and in rural South Africa um, to examine what would happen to uh, the contents of the colon and the colon itself after two weeks of dietary change. Switching Americans to an African diet and Africans to a westernized diet for a two week period. And we know from epidemiological studies around the world that there are certain dietary uh, components that are associated with low risk of colon cancer and others that are associated with high risk of colon cancer. And we also know that westernized African Americans uh, have a high consumption of the so-called bad dietary items, which are high fat, high red meat, and low, low uh, fiber, um, which might explain why they have a high risk, whereas rural Africans have what's closer to a traditional African diet, which is low in meat, low in fat, and high in fiber. So, it's one thing to have an association, it's more important to know whether it's causative, um, because there are lots of other environmental factors which might affect cancer risk. So, what we did is that we did dietary switches, and for two weeks we gave African Americans a rural African diet under close supervision, and in rural Africa, and this was in KwaZulu-Natal, in collaboration with uh, um, Professor Keith Newton from the University of uh, KwaZulu-Natal. Um, we um, examined the same situation in rural Africans, um, where they were given a horrible westernized diet. And um, what we found that was within two weeks, the changes in the mucosa um, which are associated with colon cancer. So, you know, colon cancer takes 20, 30 years to develop, so you can't expect a diet change to actually produce a difference in colon cancer. But you can use biomarkers. So there are changes in the turnover of the cells in the colon, or proliferation rate, which it's been observed in time lead to the production of polyps, which are precancerous, and then colon cancer itself as well. So they're called biomarkers. And sure enough, when we measure those biomarkers in Africans and African Americans before intervention, Africans had very low rates of proliferation or low, low biomarkers, and African Americans had very high, high rates. And after two weeks, it was absolutely astounding that changes reciprocated so that the westernized diet given to rural Africans increased proliferation rates and biomarkers of potential cancer risk. Not cancer itself, just markers. Um, whereas in African Americans who had terrible westernized food, given the Afri high fiber African diet within two weeks, their cancer biomarkers were suppressed. And this is the first time this has ever been shown in human studies. And, uh, um, it's given, you know, given us more information about the mechanisms involved of how food and how changing food can change your risk of, of, of cancer. And probably what's critically important is that the message that we want to get across is that <clears throat> you can't say, I've been eating this diet all my life, it's too late, or my mother died of cancer and, you know, so I'm doomed. Um, it's never too late. So, you should change your diet now to change your cancer risk now.